वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस मुंड है वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के बाग कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंक्लाइंड ड्राइपर बेल सेपरेटर एंड वेलवेट रोल सेपरेटर so so far we have covered air screen grain cleaner specific gravity separator indented cylinder separator spiral separator magnetic separator pneumatic separator and in this particular video lecture we will cover inclined wrapper belt separator and velvet roll separator so starting with the inclined wrapper belt separator the separation by inclined belt wrapper takes place due to difference in shape and surface texture of the material in the previous video lecture we studied magnetic separator and pneumatic separator the magnetic separator separates the material on the basis of difference in Mm, surface texture and stickiness properties of the different constituents of the material so in the same manner this inclined wrapper belt uh, separates the material due to difference in shape and surface texture of the material so this technique of separation is used when all other separation technique fails that is whatever the technique so far we have covered so when these techniques and then other remaining technique fails in such cases we use this inclined wrapper belt so in operation we fade mixture or to the center of an inclined wrapper belt moving in a upward direction so the material or mixture to be separated is fed over the center of an inclined belt moving in upward direction as shown in the figure in this uh, draper inclined draper belt separator uh, the hopper is provided at the center of the um, over the center of the revolving belt so the round and smooth grains roll or slide down the draper at a faster rate than the upward motion um, of a belt and these are discharged in a hopper so because of their roundness or surface or te texture and they roll down the belt surface because of the inclination uh, of the draper belt so this is this mechanism is shown in this particular figure so the number one indicates the feed hopper which is located just at the sen over the center of the uh, rotating um, draper belt um, round uh, second number indicates the round seal which uh, travels in a downward direction because of the inclination of the uh, belt this inclination causes the uh, round grains or sound grains to roll down the draper belt where as the uh, fourth number increase uh, indicates the flat seed or impurities or irregular grains so because of their surface characteristics or texture they do not uh, travel towards the downward end of the belt therefore they sticks to the uh, belt material and carried towards the upper end of the belt and from that they are collected into the uh, impurities or flat seed impurities outlet the flat shape or rough surface particle are carried at the top of the inclined wrapper and drop off into the another hopper the belts of different degrees of roughness may be used in a A draper belt as a draper, a draper for 
separate materials in order to get the different variety of separation or efficiency uh, or to increase the efficiency of operation uh, we use a different uh, uh, bales having different degree of roughness so if rolling tendencies of the grain are predominant the rough canvas belt may be used so it, along with the round grains or the grains which have which have smooth surface along with these grain flat grains also tries to move in a downward direction in such cases uh, we use the rough canvas belt so that their rolling tendency can be restricted and only uh, smooth surface grain uh, travels towards the downward end of the uh, belt or machine the smooth plastic belt may be used in case of sliding action is desired for the lower fraction if the uh, even having a smoother grains which are not uh, moved toward the downward end of the machine in that case we use the belt with a smooth uh, surface so feed rate speed of dropper and angle of inclination are important variable for effective separation of dissimilar materials so the feed rate is kept low enough to give opportunity to each grain for separation so so in order to get every particle to get the chance to meet the surface of the dropper we have to keep feed rate too slow so according to the surface then according to the surface characteristics they will travel either towards the downward end or towards the top end so in this way we have to keep the optimum feed rate in order to get the proper separation the speed of the dropper may be varied to stimulate with the length of the inclination the angle of inclination is adjusted to assure a rolling or sliding of the desired sliding of the desired lower fraction so the effective separation can be achieved by the degree of roughness as well as the angle of inclination uh, of the dropper belt to increase the capacity of the separator number of belts may be used one above the other in a single machine so uh, so what is shown or indicated in this particular sentence that in order to increase the efficiency or capacity of the separator we have to just uh, place the number of belts or dropper belts one above the other in a single machine so therefore which causes the uh, increase in the capacity of the separator so this is about the uh, dropper belt separator which separates the material due to the difference in uh, shape and surface structure properties of the uh, material so now we will start with velvet roll separator so this velvet roll separator or roll mill separates grain on the basis of differences in shape and surface texture of the material of the mixture so this velvet roll separator is a finishing machine and this should be used only after cleaning and separation of grain from chaff and trash so this is the finishing machine and we have to use this machine only after the cleaning and separation of grain from the chaff and trash if chaff and trash materials are present uh, in the uh, material this will not cause a proper separation of the material as uh, these trashes and chaff material will stick to the velvet material of the separator so it is effective in separating grain with rough seed coat 
or sharp angle from a smooth surface grain so this particular pellet roll separator you is uh, effective in separating uh, the grains which have rough seed coat or broken grains which have sharp angles uh, these type of grain and seed coat rough seed coat material are uh, separated from the smooth grain with the help of pellet roll separator the separator consists of two parallel inclined roll these rolls are covered with each other okay the separator consists of two parallel inclined roll covered with each other the roller rotates in opposite direction the there is a differential uh, direction of rotation an adjustable curve shield is provided just above the rollers so this the figure which shows the schematic diagram of velvet roll separator number 1 indicates the metallic duct second number indicates the velvet roll third number indicates the rub seeds outlet or collecting point collection point fourth number indicates the rough ends some smooth seed collector and fifth number indicates the more smooth and some rough seeds and sixth number indicates the smooth seed collector so this is the velvet roll separator in which two rolls uh, this figure shows the two rolls which rotates in opposite direction and their arrangement is parallel so in operation the mixture is to be separator is fed separated is to be fed on to the upper end of roller as shown in the previous figure as roller rotates smooth grains bounces down the inclined trough and are discharged at the lower end of the machine so this is shown in this figure so smooth seed outlet or collector collection point is at the end of the machine so this is what indicated or written in this particular sentence as roller rotates smooth grain bounces down the inclined trough and are discharged at the lower end of the machine because of their roundness and soundness uh, the jumping action or bouncing action is high of these grains therefore they travel more distance and get collected at the point number 6 as shown in the previous slide the rough surface grain or the grains having sharp or broken edges are caught in the velvet and they are collected at the first point or first collector point collection point of the machine as shown in the figure these grains are thrown up against the shield and takes bouncing path between shield and rollers and are finally thrown over the sides for achieving desired separation adjustment can be made in feed rate speed of rollers characteristics of cylinder roughness and roll inclination to increase the capacity of machine the number of roll pairs one above another can be increased uh, as uh, we uh, studied in the case of draper belt in draper belt in order to increase the efficiency or capacity of the machine number of belt Uh, should be placed one above the other in a single machine in the same way uh, in order to increase the capacity of the machine in the um, velvet roll separator uh, the number of roll pairs one above the another can be installed or can be increased so thank you in this way in this particular video lecture we covered and studied uh, draper belt separator and velvet roll separator thank you